Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Well, this term, we're going to look at this special value. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a few letters in front of the screen. I want you to unmuddle the letters in your head and see if you can come up with a value that we're going to look at. So the first letter is N, then S, then another S, an I, an N, a D, an E, and a K. Can you unmuddle the letters in your mind? OK, so when you've unmuddled them, you should come up with this word, the word K, I, N, D, N. I hope you can see all right, because zooms back to front, of course, for me. E, S, and another S. You've come up with the word kindness. So in our lives, we're asked, or sometimes we're invited to be kind to others. And one of the wonderful things about kindness is that it helps us, it brings benefits to us. So I'm going to go over to Whisper's Basket and tell you a little bit about Whisper, our dog. Whisper, come. Come, come. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Hi, everybody. Well, this is Whisper, and um, we're going to talk about kindness, but I thought I'd introduce you to Whisper. Whisper's a golden retriever, and sometimes when we're asked if we can show a bit of kindness, the kindness comes back to us. So Whisper is a fail guide dog. Do you want to look at everybody, Whisper? Come and look at everybody. There they are. And um, so when Whisper failed her guide dog training, uh, we were asked, would you like to look after Whisper? And Whisper was such a lovely dog. You're easy to be kind to. So we said, yeah, we'll look after Whisper. We'll give her a good home. And even though she failed her guide dog's exams, she's been an absolutely wonderful house dog, haven't you? You've looked after all our boys, haven't you? You're a wonderful dog. And so kindness is a very fantastic value because when we show kindness to somebody or something else, often we get rewarded in a different way. And so even though you failed your guide dog test and we were asked if we would kindly look after you, you've rewarded us all by being a very wonderful family pet. Well, good morning, everybody. Well, we're going to go back to the word kindness. We'll look at the word kindness in our Bible story, which is all about the person called Ruth. But before we start with Ruth, we must start with Naomi. Naomi, our husband, lived in a town called Bethlehem and there was a big famine in the land. So they travelled off to the neighbouring country Moab to find work and food. And as they grew older, they had two sons and those two sons married uh, Ruth and Orpa, and they all lived happily together. But then suddenly, Naomi lost her husband, and Ruth and Orpa lost their husbands as well. All three of them died, and we don't know quite why. Maybe there was a pandemic all those years ago. But Naomi was left with her two daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpa. And Naomi said, um, well, I've got to go and find uh, somewhere to look after me so I'm going to return back to my hometown Bethlehem but you two are from Moab so you needn't go with me and so Orpa said fine and she waved goodbye to her mother-in-law but Ruth said I've grown to love you so much over the years wherever you go I will go. Ruth was full of kindness for a mother-in-law Naomi. 
Well, Ruth and Naomi arrived in Bethlehem and uh, we don't know why, probably Naomi was too old to work then. Both of them were very poor. They both lost their husbands. And what poor people used to do in those days is they used to go into the fields after the harvesters had been in there to collect the crops. And so Ruth used to go into the fields and uh, all the leftover crops at the edge of the fields, the bits the harvesters couldn't harvest properly, uh, Ruth went in and gathered into a big bag to take home to help her, help to feed her and Naomi. Now Boaz was the farmer who owned the fields and his workers soon told them that uh, Ruth was going into his fields and collecting the scraps of crops that were left over. It was something that poor people were allowed to do in those days. It was a different type of charity. But Boaz uh, knew that he was vaguely related to Naomi. And, uh, and so he said to his farmers, he said to, the, to his farm workers, he said, when, uh, when you see Ruth in your fields, leave a bit extra of the crops behind, a bit extra for her to pick up. And um, Ruth used to bring this extra home and Boaz kept his eye on Ruth to make sure she was safe in the fields. Well, it's a long story and I haven't got time to tell you all the story today, but what happens is eventually Boaz and Ruth fall in love with each other and get married and there is a happy ending. And often I say to you that, you know, when we show kindness to someone else, kindness comes back to us. And Ruth chose to be with a mother-in-law, to show her kindness. And when they reached Bethlehem, she showed kindness by going into the fields as a poor person and collecting enough food for both of them. And in the end, that kindness came back to her because Boaz the farmer saw how kind Ruth was. And in the end, they fell in love with each other and were married. Wherever we show a bit of kindness, God blesses us. Father God, there's plenty of opportunity for us to be kind in this pandemic, to help those people who are lonely, who have difficulty shopping, who maybe have someone ill in their family with the virus. Help us to be the type of people that you want us to be by being kind to others. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Bye.